students so now let's continue with the top down parser so i said the top down parser that is a recursive descent is of two types one is with backtracking and without backtracking so now let's see the concept of backtracking what is backtracking the parse tree is started from root node the parse tree is started from root node and input string and input string is matched again as the matched again as the production rule production rules for replacing them what it means what do you understand from this definition so here they are saying that the parse tree whatever you are going to construct that parse tree started from root node so you have to take the root node means the start symbol of your grammar and input string is matched so whatever the input string that we are given uh, that string has to be matched means the terminals has to be matched so again as the production rules for replacing them so first you, you substitute one thing whether the tree is forming the uh, it gets the input string reached or not if not again uh, go back and uh, take another uh, grammar and substitute in that okay until you have to backtrack uh, until you, the input string is matched okay so let's see the example then you'll get a clear idea of what exactly the backtracking concept that we uh, used in the recursive descent that is the top down approach let's take the grammar let grammar be let grammar g be s tends to c a d h tends to c a d and uh, it's a small c a tends to a b or d okay and w whatever the string that that is the input string you will get is c a d so this is the final string that you need to get w is equal to c a d there's a small c and here a and s are the non terminals so in place of a you can replace a b or you in the place of a you can replace d but the thing is we have to get w is equal to okay w is equal to c uh, a d okay let's construct the tree so according to the concept what is that uh, s is s is c a d so that is a starting root that is a root node so you have to start the tree with the help of the root node that is s tends to c uh, s produce c a d s produce c a d okay let me write the production c here c a d a tends to a b or T and W tends tends to C A D. Okay. So it's not C A D, it's C D D. We have to get the C D D. Now let's see. So this is the first step. So in place of A, first substitute A B. Let me substitute A B in place of S. I am substituting S, C in place of A. You need to substitute A and B and this is D. So, is it matching with the input string or not? Let's check. So, what is the string, final string you get? That is W is equal to C, A, B, D. So, is it matching with the input string? No, it is not matching. So, what you have to do? Again, you need to backtrack. Again, you need to backtrack. So, next time. Next, write another production. So, in place of A, I am writing. In place of A, I am writing D. Replace A with the D. Okay? And D. So, this is the next production. So, whether now check. Is it matching with the string? C is it tends to produces C, D, D. Okay. It finally matches the input string. 
So then your production is completed. Means your parse tree is completed. So when up to when you have to be uh, repeat this process until it matches the input stream. So here root node contains the start symbol S. The body is begin with the C. Okay, which matches the first symbol of the input string. So which matches the first uh, symbol of the input string. Next. Uh, his non-terminal, uh, that is a non-terminal which is having two productions. So, here is A is having two productions. One is A, B and another is the D. Okay. So, first you can take a, a first production that is A, B. First take the first production A. So, which results C, A, B, D. Okay. C, A, B, D. So, that does not matches with the given string C, A, D. Okay, C, D, D. It does not matching to the given production. So, what you are doing? Again, you need to backtrack. So, just backtrack that. And this time, uh, backtracking to previous step, when the A gets expanded and try with, uh, with alternative production of it. So, this production that is a W is equal to C, D, D. That matches the given string. Okay. So, that matches the given string. So, this is about the backtracking. The main concept of the backtracking is you need to backtrack until you will uh, the result of the tree is matching to the input string. Okay. So, here also some limitations are there. What are the limitations of using the backtracking? The limitations are if the given grammar whatever the grammar that we are taking if the given grammar if the given grammar has more number of alternatives suppose here only two alternatives are there so then it is easy to find out whether the string is matching or not if in the case there are more number of uh, productions are there if the grammar has more number of alternatives alter natives then the cost of the backtracking will be high then the cost of backtracking is high okay that is the main limitation of using the backtracking if only the two uh, two productions are there then it is easy to calculate uh, check whether the string is uh, tree is matching with the input string or not so whenever there are so many uh, alternatives are there so if it is not matching okay then go for another production if it is not matching again go for another production so then the cost of backtracking is very high thank you